So, and, oh my god, there's so many tweets. He's arguing with PPP live on Twitter. Why would he do this? You're just, you're just giving PPP free content. Okay, so this starts like an hour ago. Sorry for the show tech issues. A little rubber piece fell out of the dummy battery for the M50. Turns out the piece was very important because it keeps the gravity from the dummy court dropping out. I actually have a frivolous court matter later today. Oh, that was the other thing. He was trying to do like an all day stream and he's completely fucked up. And then the next day he has um, a, a court order by Zoom. Uh, I have a frivolous court order at 4 p.m. Eastern Central Time. So this is in a couple hours, I want to say, right? Um, it is 2.40. So he's got about an hour and a half. And he's literally arguing with PPP on Twitter. Uh, also, I lost the edit now, so I meant you, you have to dummy back. Okay, whatever the fuck. PPP says, Ralph legit looks horrible in his shows, slurring his words, delusional thought patterns. He nearly cried during his intro. He's kind of lost it. Kind of sad. Prayers for Ralph. Ralph says, I could look dead on my show and I'd still be an improvement over a cheap imitation like yourself. I look fine. More fake news from the fanfic crowd. PPP says, you have to delete the original tweet because you're still drunk and fucked up on pills, buddy. He says, no, because I don't want to look like an idiot like yourself. You raped a girl in college. You weigh 800 pounds. Your fall is going to be brutal, eh, buddy? He says, keep seething, buddy. I look forward to making money off you tonight, which is true because he's going to make a lot of money when Ralph chimps out at him, and he continues to after this tweet. Ralph says, dude, I made at least four times what your jabronis have made me off this year. $13,000 ticket sold to my private event. Who do you think of the majority of the cast? By the way, this clown begged to be involved in Ralph Mania. I have a recordings. Uh, Ralph says, uh, you're going to tell me you didn't want to be involved in Ralph Mania because you have a tape that says you did and said you were, you followed Worski's dumbass and made zero. Now you might want to be a fool. Worski stole all your juice and you let him. Uh, he made the exact same tweet twice. He retweeted it, I guess on accident. This man is completely and totally fucked beyond belief because he's retweeting himself immediately after he makes a message because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. PPP says, buddy, you could have made 100K knocking out Worski and owning the A-Logs once and for all and said you ducked Worski after you got beat up by a British chad. How much of that money goes to Mr. Vickers, by the way, buddy? Ralph says, I have a son. I have a son who I've met, and he's lovely. Despite his relations, I don't regret for one minute the birth of my son, and one day he'll know the truth. You're fat, and you're on welfare. You can't tie your shoes. Want me to play the audio? He then says, hey, do you want me to play the audio fat fuck before you let Worski talk you into being poor? He's stealing all your money, and I love it. You're some weirdo who should never have been, been there. Should never even have been here. Even Worski is more talented. The hilarious thing is Worski would jump sides immediately. Hey, ass son, you know wrestling? He's like a turn on you in a heartbeat. Hope that doesn't happen. You really think he forgot about all the fuck, fuck go things you said? Ralph is legit. Like, he has, co he has court in an hour and a half, and he can barely hammer out a sentence. Tie your shoes live on air, and I'll pay you $2,000. Also, I'm going to call your grandpa's today and see what he's thinking about his disgusting grandson. This clown has restored to spell check. Resort restored to spell checks. Oh, Jesus Christ. The eternal, the int earl mark of a loser. What about your dad making out with a black guy? That seems more pertinent. Also, how your former best friend would speak out about how you got beaten by your father. No direct mention to uh, other activities. What Andy Worski really thinks of PPP, and then there's a clip. Shit. <sighs> Can't handle anybody criticizing them, making fun of them, pointing out their hypocrisy, their errors, their scumbag bullshit. This is an old clip, because PPP looks like he's groomed. Look at this. <clears throat> he's flagged three videos, knowing that YouTube has a three-strike policy and this channel would be terminated. But because Worski's a fucking retard, he failed to take into account that if you flag three videos with strikes all at once, YouTube only counts it as one strike. So he fucked up huge. <laughs> but look at this shit. Now, now he has to go to copyright school? So this is just him talking about Andy Worski flagging people, which he did. I don't like Worski. Uh, Ralph says, or PPP says, Ralph, Ronnie put a knife to your throat. Do you really want this to go this route? He hurt you like no one else has your words, not mine. You killed puppies with your daddy. Shameful. Ralph says, except it didn't happen. You're relying on word of a little e whore with an extra grind. Godwinson was the star of the show, Ashton. You're a freak side show, just like you are now with Worski. He continues, um, this tweet by PPP was deleted. He responds to it saying, I expected better than typo correct from you. Be gone, cheap Ralph limitation. I'll be here for 30 years. You won't. I'll put the audio out soon, though. I think people enjoy listening to you grovel. Also, if they had taken my way, they could have actually made money, lol. And then PPP also deleted this tweet. 
that Ralph responds to saying, oh, and dude, you spread your asshole online. Who the fuck are you talking to? He continues six minutes later saying, Harry Morris is about to be shown the power of the Ralph Amell spite. I'll lo I'd literally die rather than let him see his granddaughter after what he's done to me and my family. I don't have any punchlines. This, this, just stating the fact. And then uh, he switches over to Amanda's Twitter account from 11 hours ago and says, my husband amazes me. Heart. He works so hard to provide our family. He has put us put up with nonstop BS, but always finds a way to brighten my day. Oh, Ralph can brighten a few sweeties' days with a uh, with Starbucks gift cards. That's nice. That's nice. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I got a Starbucks gift card to brighten a few sweeties' days. Think with someone who lifts you up and encourages you to grow is a blessing. Ethan has done so much for me. I'm gonna tap this on the side because I have a comment about um May's posting. <clears throat> I noticed Harry Maury Morris of Rochester has given no one no response to this coward, as his ex-wife called me one time. His ex his ex-wife called Ralph a coward, so that's Harry's fault, <laughs> and he remembers this. <clears throat> and then there's the 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 pen tweet. So this is from 44 minutes ago. Ralph is like, Ralph is literally fucked up. Um, my my comment about the uh, the May tweet is that I. I can't decide if it's just Ralph tweeting, if it's May tweeting and she's trying to like be like a Stepford wife, or, or this is my, this is my new theory that I've developed. May tweets the most saccharine shit imaginable, because she subconsciously wants Ralph to feel terrible. Like she posts like gushing about things Ralph has never done. And obviously gives him compliments that he does not deserve because she's hoping that it will be so over the top that it makes Ralph feel shame. That is my new, that is my new theory. Cause it, like, imagine if you were like in this arranged mar marriage and you treated your wife like shit. And then she would just tell people like, just say all the things that you do to her, but like positively flip. Oh, he's never laid a finger on me. We have great conversation every day. He cleans up after him. This is like goes on and on about all the shit that you don't do. And like, in like the most obvious way possible to make you feel embarrassed. Like the, like some kind of next level metaphysical passive aggressiveness that I'm kind of leaning that way. That's a big brained horse. That might be too smart for me. She might just be a giant retard. <laughs> That's less interesting, though. He's so smart. <laughs> yeah, good, good luck with, uh, with court there, buddy. Eh? He's so tall. <laughs> my, husband, my husband's so tall. Like, oh my god. And I, when I make him sandwiches, and I give him sandwiches, and I walk into his room, and like, oh my god, his room is so clean. I give him my sandwich and I think, oh my god, my husband is like like six foot six. <laughs> my my husband looks like he can see the world around him and not with pig eyes. His eyes are like so wide, he can he can see all the colors in the world. <laughs> he, he's so fit. He can lift a hundred pounds. He's such a good driver. <laughs> I really feel safe sitting next to him in the car. He's like <laughs> <laughs> he's so good with money he's really good at managing finances <laughs> i really i really feel like he takes care of himself and uh if anything happens i know he's got like health insurance and life insurance so i don't have to worry about being destitute and on the street if he on the streets of mexico if he dies he's got this all figured out i really feel like i got a future with him such a good role model. Oh my god. I feel like I feel like my, my little girl is not gonna have horrific daddy issues and, and suck suck dick for cock on OnlyFans for money because she she's so traumatized by being raised by my 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 husband. <laughs> I'm so happy that my husband doesn't have a motorcycle. It would be really I I would be really scared for him if he had a motorcycle. It would really scare me. <laughs> <laughs> he smells so great <laughs> i love the way he has an innovative new idea of like personal hygiene where he just uses x body spray it really saves on money we don't have to spend so much on water 